यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड द वॉल्यूम इंडिकेटर यू आर नॉट अ ट्रेडर इफ यू डोंट एनालाइज वॉल्यूम अगर आप वॉल्यूम को एनालाइज नहीं करते हो तो आप एक सक्सेसफुल ट्रेडर नहीं बन सकते बिकॉज यू सी द मोमेंट इन द प्राइस द मोमेंट इन द मार्केट द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कैंडल स्टिक पैटर्न वन थिंग रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ऑल ऑफ देम इज वॉल्यूम बट मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल इन द मार्केट दे एनालाइज द प्राइस बट दे फर्गेट एनालाइज एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग द वॉल्यूम इट इज सेड इन द मार्केट दैट इफ द प्राइस इज द किंग द वॉल्यूम हैज टू बी द क्वीन सो एनालाइजिंग वेरियस पैटर्न इन द मार्केट वेरियस चार्ट पैटर्न कैंडल स्टिक पैटर्न अलॉन्ग विद दॉल्यूम is really necessary if you want to become a successful and a professional trader and in this video i have explained analyzing candlestick pattern along with volume wherein you will learn how to identify the false candlestick pattern on the chart the candlesticks that can lead to pattern failure you can basically filter out the very perfect candlestick pattern and then your trading will go to a next level so now you know you don't want to miss this video make sure you watch it till the end and if you find anything valuable anything that can add value to your trading make sure that you subscribe to this channel and press the notification bell and so i welcome you to trading fi this is the channel that provides you with various informative content on the stock market and technical analysis and by not wasting much time let us understand the first candlestick pattern that is engulfing pattern so you can see on the screen there are two types of engulfing pattern first one is the bullish engulfing and the another is the bearish engulfing so first let us see the bullish one this is a two welcome you to candlestick pattern and the first candle in this pattern is a red bearish candle which basically indicates the selling pressure and bearishness in the market the next candle which is formed is a long green bullish candle and you can notice this candle has basically crossed the open and close of the previous candle and by closely observing this we basically get to know that the bulls have captured the market the bears have lost their control and the bulls have came in power So now you know this pattern is a bullish reversal pattern that means after formation of this pattern along with proper volume listen carefully if the volume near these two candles is high than the average volume then this candlestick pattern is very strong if we find such candlestick with great volume we get to know that the downtrend in the market the basic selling pressure in the market will be converted into uptrend that means the bulls will capture over the market and there will be a reversal in the trend so now you understand this is how the volume is responsible for a perfect candlestick pattern the next one is the bearish engulfing pattern and on the screen you can see the volume near these two candles is usually higher than other days in the market so we get to know that this is a strong reversal candlestick pattern formed on the chart and this is a bearish candlestick pattern a bearish reversal candlestick pattern which indicates that the uptrend in the market will be converted back to the downtrend that means that the bears will be taking the market down so this is all about the engulfing pattern the next pattern which we have is the harami pattern so there are also two types in this pattern the bullish harami and the bearish harami and first we will understand the bullish harami pattern and that's how it looks in the market a long red bearish candle which indicates that the bears are controlling the market they are dragging the market down and after that a small green candle you can see on the screen a green bullish candle is formed which is basically inside the red candle you see this bullish candle is formed inside the range of the red candle by not crossing the high and low of the red candle you know this candlestick pattern indicates that the downtrend in the market where the bears are in control will be converted back to uptrend and bulls will drive the market but one thing let me tell you that if you get this pattern with very good volume if you find such a scenario in the market it is a very strong buy in the market it is difficult for this pattern to break there are less chances of pattern failure and so it makes this pattern comparatively very strong the next candlestick pattern is the bearish harami pattern you see this pattern is basically bearish reversal in the market and the uptrend in the market is converted back to the downtrend and again if you notice the volume near these two candles has to be huge than the average volume and so i hope you understood the bearish harami pattern next one is the doji candle now as you can see on the screen the doji is a candle which has a very small tiny body but a long wick now if in case you don't know what is wick what is body of the candle i have explained it in one of my video it may be flashing above or you can check out the description coming back to doji you can see on this candlestick pattern the open of the candle is almost equal to the close which basically tells us that the number of bears in the market and the number of bulls in the market are almost equal and therefore market has become indecisive it cannot make a decision whether to go in uptrend or downtrend we can say that there is a sort of battle between the bulls and the bears and whoever wins this battle will drive the market but if you any time observe the chart if you look carefully at the chart there are multiple dojis forming so does every doji means indecision or reversal in the market the answer is no you see a doji with a very huge volume is the most significant it is the one doji candle which indicates indecision in the market 
and I suggest you that the doji candle with a very small volume than the average one, I recommend you to ignore them. Do not take any trade on doji with a very less volume as they have no significance and meaning in the market and they will cause you loss. And we know that the precaution is better than cure but in case of market it is precaution better than the loss. I hope you got this concept if not you can rewind some part of this video. You see the first type in this pattern which is the bullish piercing pattern. This is how it usually looks like. And let me tell you that this candlestick pattern is no different than the bullish engulfing pattern. The only change you can see is in the position of the green candle. It has moved slightly up. Otherwise these two candlestick pattern are almost the same. Where they both indicate a bullish reversal. And you know if you find a candlestick pattern with good volume. A bullish piercing pattern with a very good volume. You can make out a very strong bullish reversal in the market. That means the downtrend will be converted into uptrend after formation of this candle with such scenario. Next one which we have to understand is the bearish piercing pattern. And now we know that the piercing pattern is similar to the engulfing pattern. The only difference is the second candle is moved up. And also here in bearish piercing pattern you can notice that the second candle is in the same position. And when such pattern is formed with great volume. It indicates a strong reversal in the market as you can see on the screen. The next candlestick pattern that we have to study is this spinning top pattern. Now you can see the spinning top pattern is basically a candlestick pattern which indicates indecision in the market. It is quite similar to the doji candle. The only difference is in the body of the candle. You can see the body of spinning top is slightly used. And remember that the spinning top candlestick pattern with a huge volume has the most significance and this version of spinning top pattern is the one that we have to consider for analysis. Rest all of them should be ignored. The next candlestick pattern which we have is the morning star pattern. And as you can see on the screen this candlestick pattern is basically comprised of three candles. A red bearish candle where the bears are in control. A doji candle which basically indicates indecision in the market. And after that a green candle is formed. Which means that the bulls have taken over the market. So that is simple that after formation of the pattern the downtrend in the market as you can see on the screen. Will be converted into the uptrend and the bulls will capture over the market. And remember that like any other candlestick pattern if this pattern is found with huge volume. If the volume near this three candle is higher than usual then it indicates a perfect candlestick pattern. And the chances of pattern failure in the market decreases. Next and the last candlestick pattern in this video is the evening star pattern. Now if you look at the structure of this candlestick pattern the first candle is the bullish candle a bullish green candle. Which we know that would basically indicate bulls are controlling the market and after that comes a doji. Which means that there is indecision in the market and after that a red bearish candle you can see on the screen which tells us that the bears have taken over the control of market. Now if you try to analyze the structure of these three candles if you even observe carefully you can make it out that how the control from the bulls is shifted to the bears. That means first the market is bullish and after that it becomes indecisive which basically means that the bulls in the market are becoming weak. And after that we get a candle which is bearish. And this is how you can analyze the sentiment of the market the minor details in the market using candlesticks. So you will see when this candlestick pattern is formed with greater volume. When the volume near these candles is higher than the usual we can expect a bearish reversal in the market. Which means that the uptrend in the market will be converted back to the downtrend. And this is how there is a change in the control of the market a change in the trend a change in the direction of the market. This is how you can analyze it perfectly using candlestick pattern and volume. Remember this one lesson that you can learn through this video is that the candlestick pattern which is formed with higher volume is the most significant. And that is why understanding volume understanding it with various aspects of the market is really important. This is one of the difference between a normal trader in the market and a professional trader. They trade on their own analysis their own stuff rather than anticipating the market. So this is what trading five wants you to do. This is what trading five wants you to become 